Hi everyone. Okay, so for today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to troubleshoot a pretty common problem that you'll encounter when you're working with uh, DAS 3D models. And for those of you that are just interested in watching this tutorial and you're wondering what DAS 3D is, it's actually a really, really good uh, program that's free, by the way, uh, that gives you these human models that you can uh, basically pose and you can export this out of here and insert it into your scene. So if you're doing architectural visualization or illustrations, this is a really good starting point, uh, which gives you, you know, really good anatomy that you can work with and then you can take it further from there. But anyway, today I'll be showing you, like I said, there's a common problem that you encounter when you're using this problem, um, when you're using this program, and uh, when you're exporting the models out. Uh, basically, the problem is when I export this model out of DAS, we're going to encounter a really annoying problem with the eyebrows and the hair, which I'm still going to apply, and you'll see the eyes as well has a problem, a common problem uh, that you'll be encountering. Right, anyway. As you can see, I'm using the basic Genesis 3 female that comes with DAS, just so we all have access to the exact same model. And I just applied some random clothing onto the model, you know, so that my video doesn't get flagged for nudity. Uh, but anyway, once you've got your model in here and uh, once you're happy with everything, actually, you know what, I need to apply some hair to my model. So I'm just going to go to my library and I've obtained a lot of the stuff from the DAS marketplace. Uh, you know, they've got a lot of awesome stuff on there if you're looking for clothing or just hair. So I'm going to use this hair over here called crayon hair. You guys are free to use anything. You can use the standard hair that comes with Daz. I think it's, yeah, it's called Toulouse. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. But anyway, I'm going to use crayon hair. So I'll just double click and that applies that hair to my model. Okay, so once you are finished and happy with your model, this part is really important. We want to go to File export and basically what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be exporting our model out of here with all of these texture maps uh, that are applied to our model so i'm just going to say das one go click on save and in this next window it's really important that you select collect maps because it's going to collect all of the maps for our model and that's going to be really important in actually fixing that problem that we encounter in uh, other 3D programs, uh, but like I said, this the, this tutorial is focused on DAS to Keyshot, but I'm sure some of these principles can apply to other 3D programs as well. Right, so collect maps, click on accept. It's going to save out all of the maps. Okay, so once it's saved out all of those maps, <clears throat> I'll just go to my folder, and you'll see it's already created a folder for us over here called Maps. And this is exactly what you want. Uh, there's some alpha maps here, some of these diffuse maps with all of the textures. This is exactly what you want. Uh, once you've got all of this ready, you want to go to Keyshot. So I'll just open up my Keyshot. And um, you'll notice that we've just got this OBJ. And this is all that we need to import into Keyshot. And Keyshot will automatically import those maps for us. So that's a really nice uh, thing that Keyshot does for us. Um, I know in other 3D packages, you'll have to manually import all of these maps into uh, different sections like the diffuse uh, and specular and all of that but for this for this purpose like I said we're using Keyshot I'm just gonna go to file import go to our folder and just import the, the OBJ and uh, this is really important you want to make sure under materials and structures uh, that keep individual parts is not selected because if this is selected we're gonna have a huge list uh, like it says, it keeps individual parts. It will just have this huge list of uh, different parts in the model that we'll have to select um, when we're actually troubleshooting this. And it's going to basically make that entire process a nightmare for us. So just make sure that's unticked and then just click on import. All right, so you'll see under here in scene and models, we've got our DAS girl. All right, so she's imported into Keyshot. And this is the problem that I was referring to, right? You can see that we've got this problem with the eyebrows. They almost look cartoony and then the eyes are like basically whited out and it looks really creepy. And the hair uh, just doesn't look correct, right? So I'll be showing you how to fix all of this. And basically what we want to, what we want to do is while we're still in scene, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to select the eyebrows, right? Or the eyelashes, sorry. Uh, once we've got the eyelashes selected, we want to go to edit material 
and we want to go to textures and you want to go to the opacity map right so as soon as we click on this it's going to try and search for those maps so we want to navigate to that folder and we want to find the eyelashes so this is exactly what we want when to click on open you'll see that it's already trying to fix that for us but it's not 100 percent correct we want to make sure that we actually select the opacity and we want to go to we want to change the mapping type to uv coordinates and there we go it's fixed we've got our eyelashes on our model and then the rest of the procedure is actually uh, basically the same so uh, with regards to the hair uh, I'm just going to scroll down on our, on our list over here and alright so we're going to select scalp and we're going to go to edit material right uh, then we'll go to textures and we can see we've already got our diffuse map there. That's why we can see all of the these different colors and textures on the hair. But again, we want to go to opacity. But when you select in the opacity map, uh, the name of the map needs to correlate with the actual name uh, that you see in your scene. So we're trying to look for the scalp map. So you click on opacity. And we just want to scroll down here. And you can see over here we've got this T crayon scalp map. That's exactly what we want. We want to click on open. And then just like we did earlier, Select the opacity map, change the mapping type to UV coordinates, and you'll see that it's going to fix that for us. Now we want to do that for um, every single piece of hair. So again, uh, in the scene it's labeled as under. We select under, go to edit material. We go to textures, we go to opacity. And then we look for the map called under. So the T crayon under, click on open click on opacity oops uh, click uh, select the mapping type as UV coordinates and then like I said we want to do that for every single piece of hair so I'm just gonna stop the video here and do that for all of these different pieces of hair because it's actually gonna be quite boring if you guys watch me doing that for all of these pieces and then we'll resume the tutorial from there alright alright so I've gone ahead and I just applied that opacity map to all the different sections of the hair and we've got our eyelashes fixed as well. Right, so in order to fix these eyes, what we want to do is we want to go to scene and we want to look for the cornea. And we want to go to materials and just apply a basic glass material to the cornea. And we want to apply a glass material to the eye moisture as well. And as soon as I apply that to the eye moisture, our eyes will be visible. And the reason why I apply that to the cornea as well is because... Uh, if we apply different environments or lighting conditions in here, we'll get these really nice reflections in the eye as well. So that's how you go ahead and fix the eyes, the eyelashes, and the hair in Keyshot. And then there's one more very nice trick that I use in Keyshot just for getting the skin to look a little bit more realistic if that's what you're going for. Uh, Keyshot basically has a translucent material with some subsurface scattering applied to it. So see, it's called human skin. And if I hold down Alt and drag this onto my model, it's basically going to be applying this material to my model, but keeping all of these textures uh, that were actually applied to the model from there. So if I continue doing that and I just drag uh, while I'm holding down Alt and I just drag this onto my model, I'm going to get this really, really nice skin uh, material that gets applied to my model. And you'll notice something as well. Um, sometimes you'll get these very nasty... I have to wait a little bit for this to render, but there's these really nasty green seam lines over here. And actually, in order to fix that, it's really simple. We want to make sure that uh, under Materials... I just want to go to Materials. We want to make sure that the, these materials are actually linked so that it gets rid of the seam line. So in this case, we want to link the face and the lips together. So... I'm just going to look for face and is it mouth? Uh, no, we're looking for lips. There we go. Face and lips. And then you want to go to properties and link materials. As soon as you do that, that green seam, uh, the green seam line that's visible here will no longer be visible. So that's just one way to get rid of those nasty seam lines. And then you'll do the same for other parts of the body. Now you can see we've got our DAS 3D model in here. I'll just apply a quick uh, environment to our model. As you can see, again, applying that glass material on the cornea is giving us this nice reflection and the shine 
in the eyes and then obviously from here you guys can play around with the rotation until you are happy with your model all right guys i hope this has been useful and that you can actually start using das 3d models in keyshot for your renderings all right well thanks for watching and stay tuned for some more tutorials all right goodbye